Breakfast tacos give a whole new meaning to Taco Tuesday. Check these out. Hey everybody, it's Natasha of Natasha'sKitchen.com. Today we are making the best breakfast tacos. This is a family favorite. I love that everybody can build their own taco. It's just such a fun way to have breakfast and it's so easy. Plus, I'm craving tacos, so let's get started. By the way, we are playing a game. Let me know where in the video you find Sharky. We've got him hidden this time, hopefully well enough. <laughs> and if you haven't already, make sure you click below to subscribe. And when you do, hit that little bell icon so you'll get notifications every time we post a new recipe. We'll start with some quick prep because when those eggs are warm and fluffy, you wanna have all of your toppings ready to go. And we love the taste of fresh tomatoes in tacos, but you can also use pico de gallo. Now dice up one large avocado. To cut an avocado, start by cutting it in half, then use the knife to remove the pit. Finally, peel off the skins and dice up the avocado. Transfer that to a dish and set it aside. Another delicious topping for breakfast tacos is salsa. You can use your favorite store-bought salsa, but I will leave a link to this homemade roasted tomato salsa that we've been using for years. You'll also need one cup of shredded cheddar cheese or Mexican cheese. Now, if you wanna make your breakfast tacos really special, add chorizo and bacon. You can cook the bacon your favorite way, but I love it in the air fryer because it's so quick. Just seven to nine minutes at 350 until it's crispy and perfect. To cook the chorizo, set a large skillet over medium high heat and add the chorizo. Break it up with the spatula and cook it until it's browned and fully cooked through. Then transfer it to a paper towel lined plate. I usually use a generous 12 to 16 ounces of chorizo sausage because everyone loves it and it's one of the first things to disappear. Set those aside to soak up any extra grease and now we're gonna prep the tortillas. The quickest and easiest way to heat a batch of tortillas for breakfast tacos is in the oven. Wrap the tortillas in two stacks of four and place those in a preheated oven at 300 degrees Fahrenheit for about 10 to 15 minutes or until it's heated through. What I love about this method is once they come out of the oven, you wanna keep them wrapped in the foil until you're ready to serve and it'll keep them nice and warm. If you wanna heat the tortillas one at a time, you can also do that on a cast iron skillet or directly over the flame to give them a little bit of charring. If heating them over an open flame, keep an eye on them because they can burn pretty quickly. Whichever way you're heating your tortillas, it's a good idea to cover them afterwards to keep them warm until you're ready to assemble your tacos. Now I'm gonna show you how to make the best scrambled eggs. In a large mixing bowl, add eight large eggs, and I like using a glass bowl when I'm cracking eggs because I can see if there's any stray shells. Now add a quarter cup of milk, you can use low fat or whole milk, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Then beat that together thoroughly with a fork until the eggs are well blended. All right, the egg yolks and egg whites look perfectly combined, and it's time to hit the stove. For cooking scrambled eggs, I definitely recommend using a good nonstick skillet. Place the skillet over medium low heat and melt in two tablespoons of unsalted butter. Once the butter is foamy, add your well-beaten eggs and let those sit for a moment until you see them starting to cook at the edges and the bottom. Now use a silicone spatula to pull the cooked eggs towards the middle, letting the liquid eggs take the place of the cooked eggs and working around the skillet as you go. Towards the end, fold the eggs onto themselves, but don't over stir. That'll make sure that they stay fluffy and perfect. Take them off the heat when the eggs still look a little moist and they will finish cooking on the residual heat from the skillet. You wanna be careful not to overcook your eggs. <laughs> it is time to assemble some breakfast tacos. Everything is ready and I do like to keep the eggs warm with a lid just while I'm assembling so they don't cool down because warm, fluffy scrambled eggs, scrambled, 
is the best in breakfast tacos. All right, and I'm gonna show you a couple ways to build these. There are so many ways to change these up, but these two are my favorites. We've got our warm tortillas here, warm from the oven. Ooh, that's nice. And what I love about the foil packet is it stays warm. <laughs> okay, here we go. Fill each tortilla with eggs, followed by the shredded cheese because it's nice when the cheese melts over the warm eggs. Now top that with warm chorizo sausage, followed by roasted salsa or your favorite store-bought salsa. And top that off with some fresh cilantro. The chorizo version is definitely the family favorite in our house. And that salsa is irresistibly good. We've been making it for years and it's freezer friendly so we can keep a stash of it to enjoy all winter long. Version number two is for my bacon lovers. Add eggs to the center of your tortilla. Add the cheese, of course, letting that melt. Top with some crispy browned bacon, followed by fresh sliced avocado, some fresh cherry tomatoes or pico if you prefer, and a generous sprinkle of cilantro. Plus, if you love a spicy breakfast taco, feel free to add your favorite hot sauce. All right, tacos are ready, and I wanna dig into these while they're still warm and fresh. And I think I'm gonna go after that chorizo one. There's something about chorizo. It's a meat that my kids just recently had. I didn't think they would like it because it's a tiny bit spicy, but they loved it. And this was their top pick. So that's what I'm going for. Oh, and then also that homemade roasted salsa. You can use your favorite salsa. It can be store-bought, whatever. <laughs> but homemade is better. And we'll leave a link to this in the notes, of course. You can also just add some diced fresh tomatoes over the top. It's just nice to have that combination of eggs and tomato. So good. <laughs> All right. Literally, this might just become your new favorite kind of taco. It is so satisfying. Everything from that warm and soft tortilla to those super moist and tender eggs and the meat and the sauce, it's just, mm, it's a winner. Also really nice for brunch parties because you can make everything, set it up, and let people build their own tacos. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have any recipe requests for the future and we will do our best. I always love new ideas. All right, we'll see you later. Maybe I'll share the other one with you. You want it? <laughs> That's a monster taco. What were you thinking? <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> mm. Good, huh? Wow. Yeah. I don't know, that salsa, that roasted salsa kind of makes it, huh? So good.